about you, but I've been loving this sugar sheet trend that's been going around on social media. So today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this multicolored, beautiful sugar sheet. If you're new here, welcome to Talia's Cakes. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you enjoy cake tutorials like these and other cake related stuff, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on another video. All right, let's get started. Here are the things you will need for the sugar sheet. Some light corn syrup, sugar cane, a rolling pin, food coloring, parchment paper, or a silicone mat. So I started off by dividing my sugar between four different bowls so that I could color them each a different color. I'm going to dye one purple, one blue, one pink, and one orange. Once the food dye is in, you can mix that up very well until you see some of the color. Now we can go ahead and add in the corn syrup and make sure when you dump it out, you get all of the good stuff out of there. You don't wanna leave any of it because you need all of it, okay? Once that's set, now you can mix that up until you get your nice vibrant color. You wanna mix it until it looks something like this. Now for the fun part, we can now start placing all the different colors of sugar that we have onto the mat or onto your parchment, whatever you prefer. And here you see I did put some saran wrap over the other ones while I wasn't using them to avoid them from drying out. And make sure you just have fun with it and place it in random spots. The more random colors everywhere, the better. It's going to look really nice in the end once you roll it out. In the end, you should have something like this. Now you can place on parchment paper, wax paper, silicone, whatever on top, and then get something to flatten down the sugar. I'm using my fondant smoother for this. And then once that's set, you can just use your rolling pin to stretch out the sugar to just make it a little bit more thinner. Once that's it, you can begin to peel off the waxing or parchment paper slowly like I'm doing here. If you get any pieces that might like spread apart from each other, go ahead and push it together like this with a spatula and just like smush it together with your fingers. Now you can let this settle for about six hours. While that's drying, I want to show you guys another cool idea that you could do using the sugar sheet technique. So here I have some sugar sheet from another time that I made it. I thought it would be a good idea to let the sugar sheet dry out over two days and then just breaking them up into different pieces so that you could have some to put on top of your cake or on the side of your cake. I don't know, I just thought it would be like a nice touch. So after six hours, you can now lift it up and see how flexible it is. Don't play around with it too much because you don't want to break it. It can be like a little delicate, but yeah, it should be something like this. Now to make one side of it more straight, I just use my cake holder to cut off a straight line like this. And now you can finally place it onto your cake carefully like this. As you can see, I have plastic wrap all over my cake. That was because I didn't have plans to actually wrap this around an actual cake. So I just wanted to show you an example as to how it would look. Now, if you would like more sugar wrap to go like around the cake, just double the recipe, triple the recipe, do what you gotta do, all right, girl? found this video useful in any kind of way please go ahead and give it a thumbs up also if you're new here I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel so you can continue to receive videos like these if you would like to see some cake tutorials click over here on this playlist and if you would like to see my last week's video click this video right over here thank you so much for watching God bless